Good evening. Welcome to the Lewiston City Council regular meeting agenda of Monday, January 12, 2015. We'll call this meeting to order. Uh, first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll be led by Councilor Daniel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next item of business is citizen comments. This is an opportunity for citizens to address the council on agenda items or other items they wish to bring to the attention of the council. Citizens are encouraged to discuss operational issues in advance with the city manager. In consideration of others wishing to speak, please limit your remarks to three minutes. Do we have any citizen comments this evening? Okay. Seeing none, I guess we'll move on to the consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion to adopt the cons consent agenda. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? I guess before we get going, is there anybody that wants to change anything to active? Mr. Mayor, I would like to move item D and item E to the active agenda. Okay. Those will become active agenda D and E. Anything else? Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and read the consent agenda as amended. Approving the December 8th, 2014 regular meeting minutes. Accepting the December 4th, 2014 Historic Preservation Commission meeting minutes. Approving resolution 2015-7 by title only. A resolution approving the Federal Transit Administration 2015 certifications and assurances. Authorizing the mayor to sign said certifications and assurances and providing an effective date. Approving resolution 2015-6 by title only. A resolution implementing the decision of the City Council of the City of Lewiston, Idaho in VA 04-2014. Vacating a portion of the right-of-way on the west side of 4th Street between D and Capitol Streets and the north side of D Street adjacent, adjacent to the Means Building and providing an effective date and approving the vouchers payable dated November 21st, 2014 through December 4th, 2014 in the amount of $1,354,395.55, December 4th through December 18th, 2014 in the amount of $2,906,764.02, and December 19th through December 31st, 2014, in the amount of $572,199.16. Okay, counselors, the consent agenda has been read, as amended. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So move. Move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries six to zero. Okay, moving on to our active agenda. Uh, active agenda item A, this is joint resolution 2015-1, and uh, this is approving amendments to the Lower Clearwater Exchange Project Memorandum of Understanding, effective on July 17, 2009, between the City of Lewiston, Nez Perce Tribe, Nez Perce County, Lewiston Orchards Irrigation District, and Lewis Clark Valley Chamber of Commerce, adopting and approving a water exchange appendix and a title transfer appendix. Mr. Bennett. Thank you, Mayor and members of the council. In 2009, the city entered into a memorandum of understanding with uh, Lloyd, with um, the Nez Perce tribe, uh, the Lewiston, uh, at that time, the Lewiston Chamber of Commerce, and Nez Perce County um, to work together to implement a uh, project known at the time as the Lewiston Orchards Project, which was to uh, adjudicate a dispute between the tribe and um, Lloyd and the Bureau of Reclamation on uh, restoring water rights uh, to the tribe and uh, how that could be accomplished uh, 
uh, and at the same time provide the adequate water supply that Lloyd needs in order to fulfill its responsibilities to its customers for both drinking water and for irrigation. So this process has been ongoing now for about the last five years or so. Uh, it's now, it's, it's referred to now as the Lower Clearwater Exchange Project. Um, and the most recent uh, development, which is before you tonight, is a request um, to uh, amend, if you will, the MOU that was approved in 2009 to add a water exchange appendix and a title transfer appendix which will define elements of the uh, project itself and, uh, and plan the title transfer that would occur once the well field is developed uh, for uh, Lloyd. So we have representatives here tonight with us from uh, L the Lower Clearwater Exchange Project, Jerry Clem, from Lloyd, Barney Metz, and from the Nez Perce Tribe, Bobby Hills. They're here in the back and ready to answer any questions you may have. But uh, you know what we have before you tonight is a resolution which would amend that uh, agreement and would um, uh, include these documents as part of the overall project. Okay. Gentlemen, do you have anything to say or? I've got one question. So if somebody wants to come down. Putting you on the spot here. Bring the whole group. Okay. Perhaps you can introduce yourselves. Uh, Jerry Clem, 701 Burrell Avenue, Lewiston. Uh, Barney Metz, General Manager, LOID, 1520 Powers Avenue. Bobby Hills, Nez Perce Tribe, Fisheries Watershed Division, 719 Warner Avenue. Okay. Um, the county was supposed to meet today. Did they actually meet and sign the the? Yes, that's amendments? been done. Okay, I was just, that's what I was really wondering, so. Yep. Okay. Um, and in brief, does anybody have a brief summary of where we're at that you can enlighten the people with, or? I, is that putting you on the spot too much? Do you we, want a summary of, of the project overall where we're standing right now? Well, maybe you can just give us an update. How's that? So, sure. you know, this is an uh, ongoing uh, resolution to a dispute that Lloyd's been involved with with the Nez Perce tribe over the last 30 years. It was part of the Snake River Basin adjudication process. Um, it's, it's come down to individual uh, litigation that ended up pushing us in this direction. Um, the district's under a Section 7 consult. Uh, the tribe is not in a position to want the project on the reservation. Um, we have fish issues. Anybody that's in the valley knows there's been irrigation restrictions. And this is an attempt to bring all of those issues into one uh, basket and get them as resolved as well as all parties can accept. And so as we move forward with this, um, there was four alternatives on the table, a do-nothing solution, which would leave us in court, uh, a pumping station from the Clearwater River, a pumping station from the Snake River, or a well field. And with what the uh, Bureau of Reclamation can put together through funding, but even more importantly through authority uh, from Congress, the well field ended up being the one that's uh, shaking out. Question though is, is will the regional aquifer handle it? We're pretty comfortable with that, but any time you drill a well, you have to make sure that you actually get into the water itself. So that's why this is a test pilot well. Um, depending on the outcome of this well, that'll determine whether or not the well field is a sustainable and acceptable uh, solution to the problem. Um, the district is probably within four days of having the delivery system connected to our current system. Uh, well drilling is underway right now on the test pilot. We were at 446 at 12 something today. Uh, we have two inner bed layers. We've got one more to get through and they're kind of slow. After we get past that, we'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, the test pilot well will case all the way down to 800 feet and then grout that all the way back up so that we're not affecting any of the people in the lower uh, shallower aquifer. We won't be mining any of their water. Um, then we'll continue on down somewhere between 1,600 and 2,000 feet depending on what water bearing zones that we hit as we go down. And that'll be where the water that we're pulling from. So uh, right now everything seems to be progressing uh, pretty well um, on both sides on the uh, the water exchange is in place to start pumping water from the well when that happens and then exchanging water in stream for fish. 
and then also the processes that it would take is this is going to take an act of Congress essentially to uh, make some title transfers of some of the property and assets on the mountain that will go to the Bureau of Indian Affairs and Trust for the Nez Perce Tribe. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Mr. Clem. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, or Mr. Mayor, excuse me, uh, I think maybe a, a comment from the uh, Nez Perce Tribe representative be in order too. Okay. I just want to say that um, it, it's really been a collaborative project between the Bureau of Rec, uh, Lewis and Orchards Irrigation District and the tribe since um, late May to put these appendices together. We've been meeting probably anywhere from two to five days a week putting these appendices together. Um, we feel we have a, a pretty good plan to go forth and that's what these appendices are is the steps that we're going to be taking over probably the next 18 months to two years to implement um, and get us set up for the additional wells to get us set up for how we're going to exchange the water and how we're going to go through the title transfer process. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Hill? Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Fred. your hard work. Okay, well, that being said, I'll entertain a motion to approve joint resolution 2015-1. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I make a motion that we approve the resolution 2015-1. Okay. I will second it. Okay, I have a motion and a second. <coughs> Any discussion? Mr. Mayor? Yes, that's Randall. Just a word. Um, Jerry Clem put me on his... Uh, mailing list and he informs me when they're going to have a monthly report on progress so if anybody has any questions send them my way and i'll pass them on yeah i haven't been able to attend any and jerry's done the same for me with the conference calls and i have been in the position where i could participate in them but uh, i know and i appreciate the hard work that everybody's been doing to finally get some resolution um, for the orchards water situation so okay all those in, pa in favor of approving resolution 2015-1 say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries six to zero. Okay, moving on. Uh, next item up is vouchers payable to Albertsons, 1121-14 uh, through 12-4-14, the amount of $54.99. And from 12.4.14 through 12.18.14, the amount of $24.94. I'll entertain a motion to approve vouchers payable to Albertsons. So moved. Second. A motion to made and second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? A motion carries five to zero to one with Councilor Daniel abstaining. And I'll turn this over to Mayor Pro Tem Johnson, item C. Next item on the agenda is vouchers payable to Early Bird Supply for November 21st, 2014 through December 4th, 2014 in the amount of $339.37. I'll entertain a motion to approve. So move. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries five to zero with Mayor Kleberg abstaining. I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Go tell. Okay, next up is item D. And this is resolution 2015-1, approving three easements from CS Bloom Properties-4 LLC. This is a, originally a consent item to allow the council to accept three public utility easements that are part of the overall uh, Bloom apartment project up on 17th. Um, and the following item is, is also a right-of-way dedication from them uh, also related to that project on 17th. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution 2015-1. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilor Ryan. Uh, the only reason I wanted to bring these two items onto the active agenda was to stipulate that I still was against the way that the project was handled as far as units per acre. 
And that's the only reason I'm going to vote no on this. Otherwise, I would have voted yes. Okay. Any other comments? Okay, all those in favor of approving Resolution 2015-1, say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. The motion carries 5-2-1. And the next one is Resolution 2015-2, concerning the same piece of property, approving a dedication right away from CS Bloom Properties-4 LLC to the city. I'll entertain a motion to approve Resolution 2015-2. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there a discussion? Mr. Mayor. Yes. Got For the right. same reasons, I will vote no on this. Okay. Further discussion? Okay. All those in favor of approving Resolution 2015-2 say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion carries 5-2-1. Okay. Well, that concludes our active agenda for this evening. we will move on to unfinished and new business. City Councilor comments. Do we have any Councilor comments this evening? You're going to leave it up to me. Okay. Well, I, uh, since this is our first officially televised meeting of the year. I want to welcome everybody back and wish them a happy new year and hope everybody had a good holiday. Um, I sure enjoyed mine and uh, looking forward to the new year. City Manager comments? Mr. Bennett. Uh, just one uh, that comes from our work session that was held on January 5th. One of the items for discussion uh, at the meeting was uh, the future of Martin Luther King Day Idaho Human Rights Day uh, and the observance of that holiday in the city of Lewiston. Um, after some discussion, um, the direction that uh, the council was moving in was to um, begin to implement that holiday in January of next year. Um, and um, the preference was to, uh, in other words, trade that holiday for a different holiday that's currently also observed within the city. Uh, it would initially uh, start with uh, non-represented employees while we work through uh, the necessary issues with our collective bargaining groups within the city. Um, the day that was settled on uh, initially um, is the uh, day commonly known as Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and so we were going to start that this year, but in looking at the current personnel policy and the uh, contracts, we determined that um, we work on a calendar year basis as far as holidays are concerned. So both of those changes would start next year, not in 2015. So we'd be looking at January of 2015, Martin Luther King Jr., Idaho Human Rights Day, and uh, Black Friday 2015, 16, sorry, 2016, um, for the implementation of that change. So that's a long time away. And in the interim, we'll be working on that issue, as I said, with our collective bargaining groups. We'll probably have a chance to revisit the whole issue with the council uh, between now and then. I will say, you know, I reached out to our city employees to get some feedback from them. Um, and although I only have a small sample at this point, um, the vast majority, if not all, actually, of the employees uh, really favor uh, the exchange of Columbus Day as opposed to the Thanksgiving Friday after Thanksgiving Day because of the fact that that's an opportunity for families to spend an extended time together during the holidays and the fact that Columbus Day is not observed by the Lewiston School District, the Clarkston School District, or LCSC. So uh, kids are in, sc in school. So the value of that holiday is, is considerably less to some employees. So that's just an interim report, obviously, at this point. But uh, that's kind of uh, the status of that. OK. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Uh, next up, advisory board and commission appointments. Do we have any this evening? We had several. Yes. 
seems like we had three different ones, didn't we? Well, we're still on for tomorrow evening. Two interviews are scheduled tomorrow for TAC. Oh, okay. okay, we have uh, some applications for TAC, and we'll be doing some interviews tomorrow night at City Hall. We got one reappointment still, request, I believe. Yes, uh, we have a reappointment request from Gail McGarry and... Can I do that at the next meeting? I had that, and it's sitting on my coffee table. I'm sorry. We just do the, for planning and zoning. Do the whole nine yards. And then, uh, Council Randall, representing the Solid Waste Advisory Commission, you're still looking for a couple of members there. A couple of positions there, yes. And then Councilor Maldonado had received an application or two for the Youth Advisory Commission. He's not here this evening. So I would anticipate that we should be able to make some appointments at our next meeting on the 26th. Anything else on that subject? Okay, work session agenda topics. Do we have any new ones we'd like to bring forward? What's up for February again, Mr. Bennett? Uh, we've got some temporary, uh, it's, it'll be a fairly full meeting on February 2nd as it is right now. Uh, not quite as long, hopefully, as the, our first one of the year. Um, but I haven't received any other requests for additional um, uh, act items to be placed on the agenda. Okay. But if you have anything, there's still time. Okay. I guess I did have one more comment, just now briefly. Um, the reason why we moved the public hearings that were scheduled for this week till the 26th is we have three public hearings concerning our area of city impact. It's administration thereof, the, uh, the boundary of the ACI. Uh, we have an annexation issue that we have to deal with uh, from days past. And I really had, did, I, I realized that we weren't gonna have enough time to prepare. It's very lengthy documents. And uh, although Council Randall and Blakey and I were on that committee of nine as or with the county and the three citizens that were nominated, um, I felt this is important enough that we all had enough chance to truly study the documents. I've actually made it through two of them and I'm working on the third, but I would really encourage Council to make sure when you read that, if you've got questions, contact Mr. Bennett, Jamie, uh, Ms. Von Tersch at Community Development, because I uh, still have a few concerns, but I think uh, it's something that we're going to need to push forward, but I want to make sure we're doing it for the right reasons. So take time to read it, and those, I think they're going to be, well, potential to be lengthy, but we'll see how it goes. So anyways, that's all I've got. Anything else from anybody? Well, with that, we'll call this meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.